Right, so today, day two with DFX. Say hello, DFX. Hello. There he is. The man, the myth, the legend in his own mind. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're at another site today, and uh, we're going to see what we can find. Again, it should be uh, Indian Wars, and uh, glad you came along. Talk to you in a little bit. Bye. Alright, so, first uh, decent find of the day, piece of metal, iron. <laughs> it's a curry comb. Very cool. Seen better days, but what do you expect? Very cool. On to the next one. All right, we've been moving along, and uh, I dug a 357. Is all in the same location, kind of like scattered around as if they were fired from the same gun. But as you can see, there's two different primers. And then DFX has just dug a perfectly. Wow, that is perfect. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's fired. But that's a perfectly formed 5070 business end. Very nice. All right, on to the next. And I just dug a brass four hole button. So we got our bullets and our buttons. Hey, we can go home now. Yeah. Yeah, we're done. See you all later. Bye. No, kidding. We'll keep digging. We'll keep looking. But still, that's a nice uh, four hole. All right, on to the next one. All right, DFX has just dug himself a toe tap. Cool. So I got button up there, toe tap here. Nice. Well done. On to the next one. All right, well, got our uh, oldest coin today. <laughs> Rang up as a 94. It's older than uh, DFX and I. But it's not that old. It's a uh, 20. Is it cent cent Centavos 1943 out of Mexico. <laughs> well, that's my first. I guess I could strike. I didn't even know it was on the bucket list. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's not a bad looking coin, I guess. It's got an eagle on it. It's a long way from home. Anyway, I'll take it. It's something different. All right, on to the next one. Now I just dug a uh, Henry repeating rifle cartridge. 45 caliber. Looks like they were successful on it firing the first time. On account of only two strikers, one across from each other. And if you're careful, you might be able to see the H. I think it's an H on that one. Hang on. Yeah, it looks like an H to me. Cool. All right, on to the next one. All right. Well, we're in a field and we're waiting for some cattle to move. There's one bull that, well, let's just say he's a big boy and he knows it. <laughs> the way he's walking, yeah. he's strutting. Yeah. So. Once they're out of the way, yeah, you got a bold face behind you. Yeah, we got some bold face hornets flying around. We know there's a nest probably about a quarter mile away from us somewhere. But anyway, but anyway, uh, just dug up Spencer. That's probably the first Spencer. We've, we haven't we have dug very many Spencers here. No. So that's cool. I'll take it. On to the next one. Oh. We're still waiting for the cows, and I just dug a, uh, well, waiting. I got a 79. I'll just put it here on the thing. We got a complete dropped 5070. That's very cool. Very happy with that. And I didn't even speed of sh shame it, which is surprising. So, very cool. On to the next one. Okay, so I've dug a uh, 457s in this area right here, and I just got number five right there. So that's my fifth 5075 cartridge in the same area. There's a good chance they all came from the same gun, which is kind of cool. All right, on to the next one. All right, DFX, just uh. 
just told me to get the camera out. It is? Oh, it is, yeah. Oh, part, yeah, it's missing the handle part, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a part of, it's a nipple wrench. I know, the beavers and buttheads out there are snickering. <laughs> you said nipple. No, it's a nipple off a, uh, a percussion cap type weapon, and that's what they use to remove the, uh, the nipple if they need to do maintenance and stuff like that, or clean it out. That's a cool find, dude. Yeah. I've never seen one before. That's my second one. That's your second one here? Uh, or? no. I oh. got another one in... Undisclosed location. Right. Yes. Okay. Very cool. Well done. Boy, I think that, that rang up good, didn't it? Mm-hmm. All right. On to the next. All right. So we're taking a quick uh, half-time break. We're going to go to another location. Uh, we're out here. What time do we start? About 7.30? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to be out here just under three hours. Let's start with DFXs. Uh, got a little rab uh, rabbit. Uh, <laughs> Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit, ribbit spill, and uh, don't know if you can see on there, but there is an R on the uh, face of the rivets on both of them, right? Yep. Toe tap, got his uh, nipple wrench. Yeah, I know. Go ahead and snicker. A um, couple of pistol bullets. That's an, that is a nice one. Isn't it? Mm. Cool. And is a uh, 5070, very nice. Uh, some another 5070 and two. These both later. I think they are. Yeah, later uh, about eight late 1880s, 1890s, 45s, 70s, and then two he look like two Henrys or pretty close. But they've only got a single single strike on them, so they were fired out of a different gun. Than a Henry repeating rifle. Uh, I've got um, we think this might be a battery. We're not sure. An old battery, of some type. Uh, I believe this is a 45 uh, Henry repeating rifle bullet. Uh, got the uh, curry comb. 5070s. They all came from one spot. These 5070s all came from another spot. These are your later 4570s. As you can see on there, it says. W R A Company and then 4570. So that's Winchester Repeating Arms Company 4570. And I think they came from like eight, eight, late 18, 1880s to 1890s. Uh, some lead. The only reason I kept this is it's kind of cool because oh there's a bold face hornet. Go on, piss off. Yes, I swore. Um, Peter's ideal. I've just never seen one with the P like that. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, my Henry repeating rifles, Spencer, uh, button, my 20 centavos, is that how you say it? Centavos. Centavos, from 1943. Should I tell them it's as old as my mum? <laughs> well, I guess you know now. That's kind of cool, 1943, that's the year my mother was born. I think that's very cool. I actually think that's a kind. It's actually a, not a bad looking coin. It's got some nice patina on it. Very cool. Um, more 5070s from different locations. My dropped 5070. And that's the base. And like yesterday, how we talked about how they use the used bases for checkers, but this one obviously just fell off and corroded over time. Uh, nice, perfectly round dropped 5070. And uh, what we'll do is take, I'll take a 5070 back home and I'll, I'll work it in there. And it makes a nice uh, giveaway gift or something like that. And so that's, uh, that's my stuff. And uh, that's all right. No, it's okay. We got, no, we got to put the, we'll put the nipple in. Oh. The nipple in. Oh, our best finds, oh, right? Yeah, best finds for, for so far. I'm going to go with the, I'm going to go with that. And the coin, because I've never got one of those before. And you're gonna go with your nipple ring yeah, we got to and your toe tap. There you go. So that was our best find so far, as far as we're oh, concerned. Awesome. Oh, hang on. Now I'm throwing out everything. Now that was awesome. <laughs> get it nice. Get it. So, there you go. There you go. Anyway, so that's our best finds for so far. 
Uh, it's been a, not a bad hunt at all. Wind's blowing a little bit. It's keeping it cool. It's actually cooler than yesterday, I think. Yeah, it is. Uh, now, if we could just ask the uh, bald-faced hornets to go uh, bugger off somewhere, I'd be very happy. Anyway, we'll uh, talk to you in a little bit. And uh, ready for round two. See ya. Bye.